What's up Cloud Gamers? Welcome back to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel. We're taking a look at Ghostwire Tokyo here on Xbox Cloud Gaming. This has just released in the past couple of days here on Xbox Game Pass. So if you have Ultimate, you can jump in and try this on Cloud. Now we are using the Xbox app for this testing and your performance can vary. I've been getting pretty decent performance out of the app lately, but I know a lot of people still have trouble with it, so you might want to try out the browser if you're having no scan line issues or quality issues. As far as settings in the game, I did make sure everything was set to English. For me, it was all kind of defaulting over to Japanese right off the bat for whatever reason, and then I shifted over to graphics, and there's not a ton of options, but I did want to change over to performance mode. That's going to give us 60 FPS, which is, of course, especially in the cloud, gonna feel a lot better and then film grain chromatic aberration and motion blur all off again to help image quality here in the cloud as well should work out pretty well and when you get into the game it's actually pretty good now i've played through this before on playstation 5 so i kind of knew what to expect and the series x version does look really nice and the game is reviewed pretty well it's like a 9 out of 10 on steam and it's a pretty decent little modern looking decent art style supernatural tokyo uh kind of thing you're saving spirits and getting rid of all these little supernatural demons and things running around and kind of uncovering the story there and it felt pretty good here on xbox cloud gaming there's a lot of times that the image still feels very soft not necessarily pixelated but that xbox cloud gaming look that we're kind of getting used to in a lot of these games where the image is just a bit softer and not as sharp as i'd like to see for 1080p but that being said Getting into combat and moving around and playing the game, latency itself wasn't an issue. You can feel it, it's got some of that typical Xbox cloud gaming latency there, but it's by no means a problem or causing issues with playing this particular game. It overall felt decent and stayed looking pretty good. I didn't really get any of those scan line problems or issues with the PC app either that we see often, but again, I know a lot of you guys still suffer from performance on the PC app, so browser might be the way to go for you jumping on edge or chrome to try this out but overall i didn't really have any major complaints other than the typical soft image quality and a little bit more input latency than i would like when comparing something like gfn which is another reason i'm excited to see xbox games eventually come over to geforce now but anyways guys ghostwire tokyo running pretty decent here for xbox cloud gaming pretty typical for what i would expect thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always we really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one